Um, tonight, guys was cutting when they man to go trap just to open up and make them be uh, decisive and have indecision on who they got to take. They're going to give up a layup or a three. So we knew how they was going to play. AG stepped up, made a big shot. Um, yeah, D. Reed after that was a little crazy. But <laughs> <laughs> Did he have anything to say afterwards to everybody? Or? Yeah, his bad. He just said, shit, people, people mess up in this world. You know, we ain't perfect. But, yeah, I mean, we can laugh about it now. We got the win. But we, if, if we didn't get the win, I'm sure it would have been a lot worse. But he, it's his fault. He, he took the onus of it, so it's on him. Monte, do you feel like an obligation to crash the glass when you're asking? I mean, you said this to us a couple weeks ago. Like, you want to help out Joker in any yeah. way you can. You get nine rebounds. Um, do you feel a personal responsibility to make life easier for him um, and then get your nine rebounds as well? I'm um, trying to. Um, anyway, you know, shape or form, um, just to help him, man. He do he does a lot for us. I mean, as y'all all can see, the whole world knows. Um, so just le just doing a little bit like that, and with me rebounding like that, I feel like it e it's easier for me to get into the flow of the game, and also we can push the pace if I'm the one getting the rebound and being able to go. So I think that was that was big for us uh, tonight, especially. I mean, I only got one in the second half, so I wish I could have got 10, but it's cool. <laughs> You've seen a lot of like real dominant games from Joker. Yeah. Like, where do you think this game ranks on, on that scale of the most dominant game? <laughs> um, I mean, it's so many. Um, yeah, so many, 49 points, 10 assists, 14 rebounds. I'm sure that's one of his best games, but I've seen games like this before. So, um, like I said, it's not some you see every blue moon. It's, it's kind of all the time. So, um, it definitely definitely was another big game for Joker on ESPN. Uh, I think that was big. Um, I feel like we should have more TV games. You know, with a guy putting up these type of numbers, you know, the world need to see that because um, he's a role model. You know, he's not even from this from this country, and he's. He got a huge fan base, so the world, I feel like we should have more, you know, more TV games and putting more notice on what he's doing because it's, it's real life, you know, go and notice. People don't give him his credit, you know, so. Do you guys, when the schedule comes out and you see that you don't have the, as many national TV games yeah. as some of the other teams, does that, does that motivate you? Do you guys notice that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, we all watch things. We all see things. Um you know, the, not having, you know, the Christmas game, you know, that's that's crazy to me. Um, but, you know, I feel like we should have more games, for sure. Uh, Monte, what does it do for some of these? It's kind of rare that we see Nikola Jokic be so emotional. Mm -hmm. He throws a pass to AG and then screams at half court, like he's banging his chest. Like, what is the impact that has on you guys when he shows that level of engagement? Um, I mean, it just shows, man, a guy is willing to make that pass, especially when we, you know, go so much through him, I think it just shows you the trust that he has in guys to make that play and, um, you know, trust AG to shoot that. Um, like I said, him showing emotion, it just fire us up to just know you got an MVP, this type of caliber player, want you to be aggressive um, and not just saying, give me the ball and get the hell out of the way, you know? So, so uh, yeah, I, I love playing with him, man. You know, it's times I come off here, Monte, shoot the ball or, you know, things like that. It just boosts your confidence when, you know, it's a MVP type player telling you that. So, you know, it's, it's lovely to play alongside of him. Just a couple on the Zoom. Go ahead, Joel Rush. Hey, Monte. Uh, it's been reported that maybe Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. have not been ruled out from returning this season. Um, how have those guys been looking to you, and what is your confidence level that you guys might be able to compete for a championship if they're back? Um, I mean, it's going to be definitely exciting. Um, like I said, those big-time players, um, and whenever they can get back, I think it'll help us tremendously. Um, that bunch of the scoring that we're missing with those two, they can get it going on any given night. Um, they've been going hard and they treatments and everything, and you know both of them are real life competitors. So if they can get back, they're gonna get back, and um, when we ready to rock and roll. We get those guys back. Um, sky's the limit. I mean, championship any way it go with you know or without them this year, but with them added on, I think you know that's that's the mindset you know in Denver for sure. Hi, Monte. Congrats for the win from Cordoba, Argentina. 
Uh, tonight you took advantage uh, of the double tag on Nicola and how he cleared the way to you, for you, sorry, with his screens. What can you tell me about that? How do you feel about that? Um, I mean, I feel good about it. Um, like I said, every game is different. Um, and we know how this team was going to come out gardeners. We just had to be ready to adjust and make um, or make the right read. Uh, and tonight, I think we just, we was the aggressors from jump. Um, everybody saw that. Even though when they made they run in, in such quarters, I think tonight the whole game was different. Um, just from top to bottom from when we played them, you know, down in LA.